Well, if you haven't already skipped past the intro, in case you were wondering, if you go to MrMudCoin.com and use my code SLAY for 10% off, we are doing a deal where if you buy 1 million, you'll get an additional million free. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Madden Mobile video, and today I got a new series for you guys. So this is called the Elevated Beast series. Now, I've done Budget Beast series in the past, and I was thinking about it, and as I was wanting to make a Budget Beast video, I was thinking to myself, okay, Budget Beasts are great, a lot of you guys know Budget Beasts, but you don't really want a bunch of bronze players that can that have an insane stats on your team. You don't want a bunch of random gold players that are like 75 overall that have like crazy speed. Now, of course, that is great if you're um, low on coins, but I think a lot of you um, getting into the season, you want to know what are the elites that I should pick up because we're all striving that goal um, for the goal to get the best elite team. Um, so what I have done if I, is I have crafted the best elite team statistically. So when it comes to some of the best statistics, some of the most clutch for gameplay, all those aspects, I have crafted that for you guys today. So when you go over it, of course, you guys may be titled, of course, to your own opinions, all that stuff. But this is for those of you guys who want just a baller team. Um, and I'm basically going to show the best positions um, and the best positional cards that suit gameplay in Madden Mobile the best. So starting off with our wide receiver core, Michael Crabtree. Now, I picked him up. He has 87 speed um, with all the boosts. So I'll just count the boosts because it's a full team. So 80 strength, 91 agility, 96 catch. This dude can catch. But when it comes to plus 10 catch, Michael Crabtree is going to get out there. He's going to excel fast. He's going to get out there. And if you throw a Hail Mary to him, the odds would say that it's almost 90 to 95% chance that he's going to catch this ball. So Crabtree is just the launcher. Dude. You just launch the football to Crabtree and he's going to be your guy for that. Now, when it comes to every down type wide receiver, AJ Green is going to be your man. So headliner AJ Green comes with plus five catch and plus five jump on third down, which is ridiculous. 88 speed, 93 agility, 95 catch, 98 jump. So on third down, he has um, upwards of 100 catch. He has so, his statistics are insane. This dude is so fun to play with. I'm gonna try and do a quick little gameplay um, really quick at the end of the video, but this guy, AJ Green, is, is someone you need to have on your lineup as soon as possible. Now, let's get to tight ends and of course the flex. So tight end, there was a ton of tight ends. This was kind of a harder decision for me. Um, I didn't feel 100% on this one, but when it comes to price, you can get Greg Olson for about less than 100K. And for those other players too, you can snag everyone on this team for like maybe 125K and below. Some of them are a little bit higher, but Greg Olson, um, 90 overall catch, the catch is everything for tight ends because they are going to come in clutch when it comes to tight end corner on third downs. Um, seam 6, 7, 8 on fourth downs when you're trying to hit the tight end. Greg Olson, 83 speed. Not the fastest dude, but if you give him a few seconds, he will be able to catch it. He's a big dude. Um, 82 acceleration, 70 strength, and of course, um, he has 79 pass block. So... This is kind of like a fill in your own. If you have Tyler Eifert from the league versus league, go ahead. But this is just kind of like in case you don't have um, Tyler Eifert. So when it comes to fullback, Patrick DeMarco um, is going to be our dude. So most feared. Of course, you know, his league versus league card is 10 times better. But 94 impact, 90 run block. This dude um, is one of the best blocking fullbacks in the game right now. With 81 strength, 79 agility, 75 speed, he'll be fine. He'll, he's not he's not going to be a performance back. You're not trying to score touchdowns with him, but he will basically act as another lineman for you. So that is super awesome. Coming to our halfback, we got Jay Ajaya. So Jay Ajaya, um, this guy uh, recently came out. He's had some insane games, two 200-yard games and a 100-yard game, 90 overall speed, 91 excel, 92 agility, 90 carry, 91 elusiveness, 93 spin move, 90 ball carry vision, 91 juke move. This dude's stats are just another level this is like um this was like uh the veteran players last year their stats were insane like trend and holiday had some insane stats they were like all 94 or something but 84 trucking which is not bad um he is an agile back so he's gonna be kind of playing like d'angelo williams but jay ajaya this dude is not going for too much either uh, i picked him up for like 130k um so definitely a must-have halfback if you're trying to get this kind of like elevated beast um sort of mentality for your team of course cam newton now when it comes to Cam Newton, his throw power is 91, and his throw accuracy deep is 79, and he has decent. So when you throw in Big Ben, you could always go with Big Ben because he has better throw accuracy deep, but I want a quarterback that is going to be fast so I can scramble, but Cam Newton is going to be able to send the bomb to Michael Crabtree, who's going to have 100 overall catch 
and basically catch it every time. So when it comes to Hail Marys or in any kind of play that is farther than 40 yards passing, Cam Newton, Michael Crabtree, AJ Green, and the addition of Amari Cooper. Now take a look at Amari, 90 overall speed. He has 95 agility, 90 excel, 91 ball carrier vision, and 89 spin move, 88 jump. Across the board, great stats. So of course, um, his catch isn't as good as his two receivers up top, but his speed, his acceleration, his agility is gonna be great for a flex. He's just a great flex in general. So let's get into the offensive line. Now the offensive line, I personally don't like to spend a ton of money on my offensive line because they're a great budget golds. But when it comes to it, I wanted to show you guys the best. So we'll go real quick. Um, Andrew Whitworth has some great run block. Uh, the Kevin Zeitler from Most Feared, I believe he has like 90 run block. He has 86 pack block. Yeah, 90 strength. Tons of good stats there. Travis Frederick, Marshall Yonda, and then of course Joe Staley, who has 92 impact and 88 strength. So a lot of the Most Feared elites are dropping in price. I picked him up for 70,000 coins, which is awesome. But let's get right back into the defense. Now, as we dive into this defense, this defense is one of my favorite defenses. This is a defense for Hall of Fame um, type type like runs. So if you're trying to do a bunch of head-to-head -head stuff, this is a fantastic defense with insane players. So starting off, let's go with the secondary. Pat P, you guys know he's great. 89 man, 88 zone, 96 agility, 90 a cell. Uh, just like a wide receiver, Pat P. Cam Chancellor, of course, is just overall, just like the, the overall like everything you want in a safety type player. Of course, insane hit power. Um, Marcus Peters across his counterpart. 90 overall speed, 91 press, 90 acceleration, um, acceleration, acceleration, not wation, 86 man coverage, 84 zone, uh, which is awesome. And then take a look at this dude. So he was one of the first headliners. Uh, I believe it's DeShazor Everett. Um, I believe I said his first name right. Uh, but 92 zone coverage. And then he has insane zone, plus five zone to the whole team on first down. And honestly, there's nothing more I could ask for. 85 speed, 83 man, and the fact that he was so cheap was why I put him on the team as well because it's elevated beast. So we're trying to get elite players that are great but go for you know a reasonable amount. Now, I could have put a bunch of signatures, 93 overalls, and made this an insane team. But then again, look, we're only 87 overall. I'm not trying to spend a ton of money like I did in my shopping spree. So Rashad Jones, um, he has... 69 man coverage, 82 zone coverage, 85 hit power. As a safety, that's great. 69 strength, 84 speed, 81 excel. Just an overall good safety, a good kind of filler position. Of course, we got to go with the GOAT himself, Darius Slay. 89 man coverage, 88 zone coverage, um, 90 overall speed. That's kind of why I eyed on him with the 89 excel and the agility. So he is super fast and his coverage is great. And whenever it's um, first down, um, he's going to get plus five zone. So that's super awesome for Darius Slay. Let's take a look at his linebacker core. Now, this is the only gold on the offense or defense. But Camus has 95 man coverage, 92 zone. So this is a must pick up. He goes for like 7,000 coins, 90 strength. Um, this dude is insane. Of course, I have Bruce Irvin, who have who is just a legend, but he goes for so much. So do not buy Bruce Irvin. But Camus is awesome. Now, Eric Kendricks, one of the headliner players. And we actually have like four or five headliners on this team just because um, their stats, but plus 10 awareness on second down, which is so cool for this dude. Um, 91 awareness, his coverage is decent, his tackle is really good, his excel, his hit power, and his pursuit is also um, top notch. And Eric Kendricks in general is just a great player. Um, coming to Thomas Davis, 99 awareness. So 10 awareness, Thomas Davis actually went, um, I believe he went to 107 overall awareness or something, but I think EA just stopped that. I think um, they saw a bunch of us talking about it, so I think they capped it at 99. I'm not sure. I think he's going to play with 107 awareness, but they don't show the stat right now. Like they did a few days ago, but not now. So 84 strength, 89 agility. Look at his zone 91 zone coverage, 86 man. This dude is going to crush children. This guy, um, 92 hit power. Like there is no turning back. Coming back at it with Telvin Smith. This guy is one of the best heroes you could pick up. Um, 88 speed, 94 agility, 90 excel, 86 awareness, 89 hit power, and then his coverage is fantastic for a linebacker. Um, so Telvin Smith, uh, we got that. The only thing we got is our defensive line. So of course, Khalil Mack goes for less than 100,000 coins. Um, he's, the, he's the highest overall defensive end you can get for 100K. 87, 91 power moves, 80 strength. Just a great player in general. Um, 
And then, of course, Vince Wilfork, the whale, um, coming out with a plus one strength to Houston and to the entire team. So 96 strength, um, 92 block shed, play rec, 94 tackle. So if Vince Wilfork gets anywhere close to the ball, it is going down. Now let's go to Aaron Donald, 91 strength. This guy actually dropped in a... He dropped in price like a ton. So recently, what happened with Aaron Donald is he was like super expensive, like 200K within the red zone packs, absolutely ruined his value. So now he's pretty affordable. So I would definitely pick him up. And then Muhammad Wilkerson, I was actually shocked. Um, he has some great stats, 90 overall strength, 86 pursuit, um, 92 tackle, 91 block shedding, not as good as defense. Um, Vince Wilfork, but Muhammad Wilkerson is great. And then, of course, special teams. I love Tyler Lockett, bro. Um, if you don't like Tyler Lockett, get Emmanuel Sanders. But Emmanuel Sanders at Palmer Turner, Dustin Colquitt, and then Aguayo. And, of course, I have Graham Gano, who sells for, like, 500K. So, I need to make sure I sell him. But Robert Aguayo works. But that is the insane team right there for you. So, let's do a quick head-to-head -head game. Um, so, we have the counter. So, it's a little bit more difficult. We have, like, 200 fans because, honestly... Like, I'm going to wait for a little bit, and then I'm going to grind all my head-to-head -head fans. It only will take me, like, three or four weeks to get to Hall of Fame, but I'm not trying to do it. So this, of course, will be extremely easy because we're playing with 200 fans. But other than that, um, we're going to test out our wide receivers, of course, our halfback, Jay Ajayi, and hopefully we can just get a quick little touchdown. So...